Welcome to Informatica support video. This is Bhatpraban from Informatica support team. Today we are going to talk about how to upgrade MDM DB2 version from 901 to 902. The agenda that we are going to cover is what are the steps required to upgrade to major release and in this video we are going to cover MDM 901 to 902. As you know that every major release will have a server fix and cleans fix. Uh, applying server fix and clean fix is uh, just an easy thing. Just uh, apply the exe file. And the next thing is that uh, for every major list there uh, will be a database fix as well. So database fix we have to apply in CMX system as well as in ORS. So we are going to talk about that. What are the steps involved to upgrade a CMX system and what are the steps involved to upgrade ORS. And also we are going to cover how to verify whether the upgrade is successful or not. and to migrate the CMX system it will involve its two process one is migrate system other one is compile system the migrate system will migrate the code from DB2901 to DB2902 and compile system will compile all the packages and objects it resides in the DB2 database for migrating ORS the, it will also involve two process one is migrate ORS and the second will be compiled. So micro to ORS will migrate the ORS from 901 to 902 and compile will compile all the database objects. Let's see a quick demo on how to upgrade the CMX system as well as how to upgrade the ORS. Now I'm going to db2902 hf1 database file location so I'm copying the entire file and this is my current MDM DB2901 installation location in server folder resources database I'll have the database fix so I'm just going to rename to 901 so I'll just create a new folder and I will copy the db2 on 902 files. Okay. The first step is I have to open the db build dot properties to edit it. Here I have to give my local local host. Here I have to give my password. Here again I have to change my db2 username and that password. have to give my instance name I will give the database storage path Now I'm going to that uh, DB2 location. I will just copy this path and I'm opening DB2 command prompt. DB2 command window. I'll just set it to this path. Now I'm going to upgrade uh, DB2 CMX system from 901 to 902. So as I mentioned earlier, the first step is uh, we have to run migrate system. Okay. 
this is going to take some time the logs we can see in logs folder so we have to check in case if it failed with some error we have to resolve it then only we have to proceed with RS yeah DB2 CMX system upgrade is completed so let me let's quickly review the log files the log files looks fine the second step is db2 and compile migrate compile sorry it's compile system a new log will get generated Now the upgrade is running. Let's wait for some time. Yeah, upgrade is completed. Now I'm going to upgrade ORS. So I'm just quickly reviewing the compile system log as well. It looks fine. Now I'm going to upgrade ORS. So I have ZMX ORS registered. Let me quickly upgrade the. I'll do, before upgrading, I will just show you the version. So see, here the master is 902. See, the same system is upgraded, but ORS is not upgraded still. It's still pointing to 901. So I'm going to upgrade the ORS. So I have given my ORS name already. In case if it is something sample ORS, so I have to give sample ORS. So I'm going to use CMX ORS here. So I'm going to migrate the ORS. The first, as I mentioned earlier, the first step is migrate ORS. Second step is compile. So in the log file there will be a new file will get generated which is migrate to ORS. Let me open that. In case if it got failed, we have to resolve this errors. It will take some time. Let's wait for some time to complete. Yeah, now the build is successful. So the ORS is my git ORS is completed. Now I'm going to compile the code. So this compile is required always. Meanwhile, I will just review the migrate ORS file. Yeah, it looks good. In case if code failed, build code failed, it will fail with some error message here. So we have to check it and resolve it. Now in the logs, this separate file got created for compile. Yeah, it's running. It will take some good amount of time. If your ORS is big, it will take good amount of time. In case if it have very less objects, obviously it will be very fast. Yeah, it's running actually.
usually over compile will be take long time it will take some more time let's wait for some time Yeah, uh, the ORS compile also it's completed. Let's quickly review the compile dot logs. Yeah, this is the log file. In case if, uh, if the build got failed or something, you have to review it as I mentioned earlier. Now let's go back to slide. So in case if you want more information, you have to review the KB article. One double four nine five eight, and before closing the video, I will just show you quickly how to verify that whether the ORS upgrade is successful or not. Okay, so I just connected to uh, my database, and for checking CMX system, we have C repos DB version, CMX system dot C repos DB version. Here we can see the version is nine or two, is upgraded successfully, and for ORS. The CMX ORS dot C repos DB version. We have the entry. Okay, this this is to help you how to verify the upgrade is completed successfully or not. Yeah, we have covered the Achinta so far, and we like to hear your feedback in support video or informatica.com and twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.